For what purpose does the gentlelady from Illinois rise? I seek uh, unanimous consent to address the House for five minutes. Without objection. The gentlelady is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to mark the 25th anniversary of an extraordinary organization, the AIDS Foundation of Chicago. The AIDS Foundation is not just an Illinois treasure. It is recognized across the nation as a leader in the HIV AIDS policy and service. The AIDS Foundation was founded in 1985 at the height of the HIV AIDS epidemic when an AIDS diagnosis was a death sentence. HIV has been identified to, had been identified two years earlier, but effective treatment was still not available. Many of us, of, of us watched helplessly as friends and loved ones passed away. AFC was founded by friends of mine, Dr. Renslow Shearer, Dr. Ron Sable, Judy Carter, and William Young. Its mission, to lead the fight against HIV AIDS and improve the lives of people affected by the epidemic. Thanks to AFC's role as a force for change, lives have been saved and lives have been changed. AFC helped turn the tide of the epidemic in Illinois and across the country by working with community organizations to develop and improve HIV AIDS services, funding and coordina coordinating prevention, care and advocacy, and acting as a champion for effective, compassionate HIV AIDS policies. In its position as the hub of HIV AIDS services in Chicago, AFC has worked with its partner agencies to connect people living with or affected by HIV AIDS with the care, housing, and prevention services that keep HIV AIDS, uh, HIV infection from being the death sentence it once was. Through its advocacy efforts, AFC has given a voice to those who would otherwise go unheard, empowering those living with the disease to be their own advocates, holding those of us in power accountable, and keeping the human face of the epidemic fresh in our eyes and close to our hearts. Many of the life-saving programs established by this body have been implemented on the ground by AFC and its community partners. Again and again, AFC has proven itself to be a dedicated steward of public and private resources. Its innovative approaches to coordinating HIV AIDS prevention and care services, such as case management and supportive housing programs, have been repeatedly recognized as national models. From the west side of Chicago to West Africa, AFC has partnered with community organizations to support vital prevention, education, and care programs that would otherwise go unfunded. These activities reflect the true scope of HIV, the HIV AIDS epidemic, running the gamut from the local and state level to the national and international stage. Because of the richness of these links, AFC is uniquely positioned to build coalitions and grassroots advocacy networks to affect change. Its leadership and countless campaigns for more and better HIV, AIDS prevention, care and housing services has empowered those communities impacted by the epidemic to directly engage their elected officials and demand the life-saving services that they, they need. As a member of Congress, I rely on AFC to provide me with policy advice and as important to describe the on-the-ground needs and concerns that must be addressed. And so I would like to congratulate AFC President and CEO Mark Ishaug, Board Chair Aaron Baker, and their staff and volunteers for their leadership and dedication in the fight against HIV AIDS. Thanks to your hard work over the 20, last 25 years, we now know that this is a fight in which one day we will be victorious. And I yield back. The chair will receive a message.